Today we are looking at the Linux Mint 22.1 all desktop environment comparison video. So right now I'm using the Cinnamon desktop environment. After that I'm going to show you other desktop environment also. So right now it's a Cinnamon version 6.4.6 .6 is the version of the Cinnamon and the kernel version you get the 6.8 and this is the stable ISO file. So the stable ISO files are already released like a few hours ago. So you can easily grab one of those whatever desktop environment you want. I'm going to show you three desktop environment, RAM usage and all the things and uh, you can guess and you can decide on those things and you can judge on those things whether to use the cinnamon or other desktop environment. So here is some information. Now let's go with the system monitor. It's been almost like a four or five minutes of uh, booting. So it should be all the process should be running right now. And also I opened the browser and also I typed in like uh, some commands like a NeoFetch and also the other thing which is inxi s sweet which will grab complete distro information so it's consuming 1.9 gb remember i opened like a few applications and also i typed the uh, command so it will be having some uh, ram here and i'm also running it on the live boot so i'm going to keep the system monitor in the right side corner like this and you already know all the changes if you didn't know the changes of the linux mint 22.1 i already made all those things uh, i made like a two videos already and about the uh, other things like a neofetch here is the neofetch linux mint 22.1 so this is the stable version packages 1987 tpkg shell bash version 5.2.1 and also you should be seeing every uh, in every desktop environment you should be seeing the same kernel and also uh, most of the applications with these same versions and about the inxi dash s weight here is the host it says like a linux mint and uh, compiler gcc here you get the 13.3.0 i'm going to keep the video short as possible so i'm just going to ignore some other things like a desktop environment 6.4.6 .6, gtk version 3.24.41 muffin version 6.4.1 here is the distro and it's based on Ubuntu 24.04 Noble Numbit. And here are some other things. My CPU is i5 1240p. I'm using, uh, I'm going to be using the same hardware for every uh, desktop environment. So here you can see all the additional information. And uh, about the browser, here is the uh, Linux Mint 22.1. Let's check the browser information, which is, uh, let's check the version. You get the 134.0 which is the latest version right now and this is the version or this is the edition i'm using and uh, when you click here you can get the new features and release notes i already opened that too and it's supported until 2029 here is the main thing you need to understand and other things like a modernization of apt dependencies here is the dependencies and about the foreign packages you can do all those things and ab about the update changes here is the update changes and about the power modes you can check the power modes also let me go to the settings settings manager and you can see the new thing which is like a uh, power modes performance and everything so here you should be seeing just the balance and uh, power saver if you install it you can see all those options here is the options power mode selection cinnamon settings and here you can also see in the batteries in the virtual box you can see that uh, in the watch vmware you can't see that so you, you can use the commands like uh, this one just copy the command and you can use the commands and change these so it's better to install it on the real hardware to get all the information so right now it's on the balanced here you can see it's a balanced and a power saver if you want to change it to performance mode you can change it to whatever you want like a set performance to enable the let me copy it let me paste this thing hit enter and here it says fail to communicate with the power profiles so it's better to install all those things and other things is the main things is like a night light and the power options and all those things you can get all this information right here uh, in the release notes or in the new features let me go to the settings manager again you can click on the displays and night settings and everything or else you can just search it right here just type in like a night and here you should be seeing the option night light so here is the options you can schedule you can turn on you can do whatever you want 
So I already showed all those things in the older videos or in the uh, day before video. So I'm just going to show you the things here. So you can easily get this type of round dialogs now. I already showed everything. So I'm just going to show you the system monitor resources. It's kind of like a RAM usage and everything. So it's consuming 1.9 GB. After closing all those things, here is the release notes of the 22.1. So these are all the changes. So the main objective of this video is to see the RAM resources and the CPU consumption. So you should be getting the same information like about the kernel, about the applications. You should be getting the same Firefox browser 134 in every desktop environment. You should be getting the same kernel. You should be getting the same based version. But the Cinnamon version, XFC version and a Mac desktop environment version will be only changed. Other than that, you should be seeing the RAM usage change and uh, those things. Other than that, most of the things will be same. So it's consuming like a 1.3 GB after closing all this application and CPU is around 25%. Now let's open other desktop environment. So I'm just going to turn off this. Uh, so this is the round dialog now. So this is the cinema desktop environment. And now I'm going to switch to another desktop environment and we can continue from there. So I'm going to show you also the desktop, uh, the uh, logout screen. Here is the desktop sessions. So this is how it looks. And about the detailed 22.1, uh, I already made a video. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can check it out. I, I discussed everything in that video. So here we are back with the Linux Mint 22.1 stable version Mac desktop environment. 1.2.1.26.2 uh, is the desktop environment version. And let's check about the process. So these are all the process running. And here is the resources. It's consuming 1.5 GB after opening few applications. The cinnamon desktop environment was consuming around like a 1.9 GB and here is the CPU. So all these three desktop environment are the stable versions. So now let's go with the terminal. Let's open the terminal. So here you can see the same kernel version, same uh, based on and everything will be same. The only thing difference is the desktop environment, Mac desktop environment 1.26.1. And other things will be right here. The compiler GCC version is also same and uh, it's a stable version codename is Sia. And if you want the detailed uh, information about the Linux Mint 22.1, I already made. I already said in the cinema desktop environment. So I already made all those things and how to update and everything. I already made a video day before. Uh, day before uh, so like a two days back, I made those videos. And here is all the other things like a uh, INXI and everything so you should be getting the same things and about the browser here you can see the browser version about the Firefox you get the same version and about the mad desktop environment new features again it's supported until 2029 I already said everything will be same same organization of apt dependencies same foreign packages and updates the power modes will be also available in the other desktop environment so you need to install in order to see all those things. The main thing also is the nightlight. Let me show you the nightlight. Just type in like a nightlight. And uh, you don't see the nightlight in the uh, Mac desktop environment. It's only available in the uh, cinnamon. So here it still says like a nightlight. Let me find whether it's uh, available in that uh, Mac desktop environment or not. So here you can see all the other things like uh, let me find the power options also. So here is the power management and you see the same basic thing. You don't see the performance and everything. And here are all the displays and everything. Like a firewall, online accounts, appearance. If you want to change the appearance, you can. There are a few wallpapers added. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out. And the displays is uh, right here. And about the appearance, here is the screensaver. There is no like a night light or anything. We tried to search here and it didn't uh, pop up. So let me try it again. Let me first search it again. And also the user experience in the cinnamon is better when compared to the mad desktop environment. I don't know in the booting process also it took like a kind of like a laggy thing. Something happened. It was taking a bit of time when compared to the cinnamon. So cinnamon was booting uh, without any issues. I used the same hardware. 
let me type in like a night and here you can see there is no option for the night light or anything like that and also the appearance is also uh, taking a lot of time to boot up so that's this is an another thing here so it's better to try the desktop environments on your own if uh, whatever the desktop environment works for you go with those things and other than that everything is same so i'm just going to force quit it about the changes here you should be seeing seeing the changes and the main things will be available in the cinnamon so always first go with the cinnamon and if you want to choose other things you can choose it and the ram usage was 1.9 gb in the uh, cinnamon desktop environment and it is a bit of less here in the mad desktop environment let me show you again so after closing all the applications in the cinnamon it was consuming around like a 1.3 gb but in the mad desktop environment it's consuming 1.1 gb so there is like a 200 MB of a difference, but uh, when compared to the user experience, I rather go with the cinnamon because it was a bit of smoother and also I didn't see any issues. So in this uh, mad desktop environment, there was kind of like a laggy and also it's taking a lot of time to open certain things. So you get basically everything same. So I rather recommend go with the cinnamon, but we didn't still tested the XFC. I'm going to see that XFC desktop environment and I'm going to say my final thoughts. So let me let me first show you the logout screen and I'm going to uh, switch to the another desktop environment, which is XFC. So here you should be seeing some options. Let's wait for a few more seconds. And here is the session. You can directly log in you don't see any sessions or anything like that here you just get the basic live session user you can automatically click on here and it will automatically log you in now let's go with the xfc desktop environment let's compare the xfc and also i'm going to tell my final thoughts now finally the xfc desktop environment so here is this table xfc desktop environment of linux mint 22.1 and after opening few applications, the task manager is right here and it's consuming like a 1.6 GB. The cinnamon was uh, uh, like uh, consuming around like a 1.9 GB and also the uh, the mad desktop environment also consumed like a 1.7 GB. And here are all the processes. So the mad desktop and uh, the XFC desktop environment uh, are consuming uh, similarly but the cinnamon was consuming a bit more and also about the user experience the cinnamon was uh, working better and uh, there was no lag but the xfc and the mad desktop environment was having some issues the mad desktop environment had a bit more when compared to the xfc so here is all the uh, process running right now and if you like whatever the desktop environment here is the three desktop environment i made a video on these things and uh, you can judge it on your own my user experience uh, was better with the cinnamon but the ram usage is uh, better with the mat and the xfc because they are consuming a bit lesser xfc is the least consuming resources the mat desktop environment was consuming a bit uh, in the middle and the cinnamon was consuming a bit more so there is like a difference between 200 and 100 mb you don't see a major difference other than that so you get the same ubuntu based and you should be getting the same kernel information the only thing will be the desktop environment changes and also some power options and nightlight other than that you don't see any uh, major changes so if you like the nightlight and also the power option settings you can go with those or else you can use the commands to uh, choose it uh, type in the commands for the power options and you can change the modes and here is the INXI, same compiler GCC, same version and everything is similar. So there is no changes. The RAM resources is like a 200 MB or 100 MB difference. Other than that, I don't see any major difference. So you can choose whatever desktop environment. If you have like a like a one and a half GB, like a 2 GB of RAM, go with the XFC. If you want, you can try the Cinnamon. Uh, try it on your own and uh, the cinna if Cinnamon works properly, then go with the Cinnamon. But the cinnamon will consume a bit more when compared to the XFC and MAT. But if you want to go with the, if you have like a one GB of RAM, it's better to go with the like a XFC first. If you if you if it satisfied your things and then go with the uh, XFC, or else you can try all those desktop environment. And uh, the cinnamon will be consuming a bit more if you have like a one GB of RAM. I don't think it's going to work properly. 
But uh, if you want to try the Linux Mint 22.1 latest version, you can go with the XFC. So this is how it's performing. And uh, I'm going to show you the official website. So this is the stable release 22.1. You can get all the uh, ISO files stable release uh, in the official website. So here is the XFC edition and about the changes. It's supported until 2029. Whatever the desktop environment you choose, you, sh you should be getting the same thing modernization of apt dependencies so again these are all the same things i already said i made a complete uh, video of uh, everything like a day before effort yesterday so you can check those things and for the power options you can change the modes and about the release notes here is the release notes and if you want to download you can download so this is the stable version it's not the beta version or anything and after closing all the applications let's check the resources it's consuming under the 1 GB. So the uh, according to, to the RAM usage, uh, the XFC won the uh, RAM usage because the least consuming was the XFC. And the second one will be the mad desktop environment. It was consuming 200 MB lesser when compared to the Cinnamon. And uh, when compared to the user experience, Cinnamon clearly wins the uh, desktop environment match because the Cinnamon was uh, without issues i uh, i worked with those things like uh, i opened applications everything was uh, without flawless and also new changes like a round icons and everything will be available in the cinnamon and when if you want to go with the uh, like a uh, less resources you can go with the xfc and nightlight and all those things you can customize according to your own you can download the apps or uh, do whatever you want but uh, these are all the same things you get the same ubuntu based you get the same applications there is no changes other than some desktop environment and few options i don't think it's like a major changes but for some people it's good like a nightlight and everything available pre-installed uh, will be uh, helpful for those it's clearly up to you because it's your opinion i don't know what works for you so it's better to try it on your own so the main objective was to see the RAM usage of this desktop environment. I already said XFC consumes a bit lesser. Mad desktop environment was middle. It was having some issues like uh, it's tried to uh, share. The application didn't work for uh, like a two or three minutes. So that's an another issue. It was in my PC. So I don't know how it's going to perform in other PCs. So if you want to try it, you can try it. Again, I already said if you have like a less RAM, then go with the XFC. If you have like a good RAM, like a 4 GB of RAM, Linux Mint needs like a 4 GB of RAM in order to run uh, everything properly. So if you have like a 2 GB of RAM, 1 GB of RAM, go with the XFC first. If you're satisfied, then go with the other things. You can try all those things like a Cinnamon, Matte and XFC. If you have like a unlimited internet, you can try all those desktop environment. If you have like a limited internet, uh, go with the XFC. So all those things, uh, this is how uh, it worked in my PC. Other than that, I'll see in tomorrow's video. I'm going to show uh, the logout screen and I'm going to end the video. For the detailed video, I already made, I already said like uh, three times, but uh, I'm going to say it again finally because some people will be skipping the video. So that's the reason. So I already made complete video of the Linux Mint 22.1 stable uh, everything. I showed everything in that. So this is how the logout screen looks. Other than that, I'll be posting videos daily. Thanks for watching. Peace out.